Hey, I thought I'd uh, record part of this and show you what uh, it's like down here Wardensville after uh, a day of hunting. It actually got too warm today, but I went out anyway. Sat two or three, three different places. This road gets kind of rough. But this is Squirrel Gap, and it's about 5.20, and it's hard to get in dark. Um, we got about three miles to go to get to the camper. But there's about two or three campers already pulled in different places here. So anyways, this is uh, what it's like on Squirrel Gap at the end of a day. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Doing about 15 miles per hour. So it doesn't take too long to get back to the camp. But it's more fun with more people down here, but it's just me. Uh, my son's too busy. Uh, he can't really come down. Although the offer completely always stands. And I offered a couple other people too. And I thought maybe even Bev would want to come down, but uh, she's got to take Ashton to a friend's house tonight. And uh, I, doubt, I doubt she'll come down though. Tomorrow it's supposed to be kind of showers moving through. So I don't know how much hunting I'll get done I'll do as much as I can but I didn't see any deer at all today which I'm not surprised it got to be about 75 today and for me I'd rather have in the 40s no more than 50 especially if you get a deer then you work it up you can hang it, uh, it would stay okay in the 40s down in there you can't see probably but there's a camper already put in place I drove by here earlier and uh, the guy already was working up a deer this is where I cut a bunch of wood get a wood wood permit every year I have one this year too but uh, arthritis is really taking hold of me slowing me down Try not to let it slow me down, but it does. I've probably, over the past 10, eight, 10 years, pulled out about, well, near my quota, four, four or five, uh, well, six quart, I think, is the limit now. I think four quart it used to be. But I usually get most of my limit, but it's hard work because you got these hills. Uh, first year, I actually. Uh, worked up some logs down below and well that was that was hard getting them out so anymore I usually try to get on the same plane or above ground so you can wheel it down on a wheelbarrow there's some trails here some back roads but they're closed not to motor vehicles I thought about bringing my bike down and I really should have I kicked myself last minute I decided no I'm gonna hunt more but as warm as it was today, today would have been a perfect day. Um, I would have uh, went up to a couple other uh, trails that I used to walk, hike. Uh, so, didn't bring the bike. Next time for sure. you're probably watching this if you are still with it watching it it's kind of boring watching me ride so I'm gonna pause this again I guess so yeah that camper back there that was about mile three and a half mark on the on this road this road's about almost 12 miles long 11 and a half miles it winds in and out not sure why they call it Squirrel Gap, but they do. Route 344, I think. It normally closes down uh, end of December, first part of January. And down there you can't see, but there's a camper down there too. Pretty tight places to get a camper in some places. Camper I have, it's uh, only about 20 feet long. Well, it's about 24, but with the tongue. I 
had an issue last night with the camper and it ended up being just uh, the uh, auto switch it's an older style thermostat and it wasn't kicking the uh, furnace on automatically so it didn't get really cold last night maybe 50 and that in itself isn't cold at all uh, but I kicked the furnace on twice but then I worked on it today and it was working automatically I mainly did it to make sure that next week when it turns down the 20s at night that uh, it'll kick on automatically so I'm gonna end the end the video now but uh, this is the type of riding on this road uh, it's mostly like this all the way all the way back uh, usually when I can't uh, hike there's a ravine near my camper that I hike on and it goes about three miles back to another ridge ridge line so I might do that Monday uh, but not go too far maybe just a half mile back usually there's a fair amount of hunters first two or three days so I'll let people push the deer around as much as possible I used to be one of those that would hike up and down the ravines on the first couple of days but just anymore I just sit but if I get a deer that's fine if if not you know I don't it, it doesn't matter to me uh, I mean it'd be nice to have one but I'm just here for the uh, enjoyment of just the fact I'm here in the woods all right well you have a good evening I'm gonna hit hit the camper here in a couple minutes and then uh, start supper and enjoy the, the evening I've got a uh, pull the generator out and charge the batteries up just a little bit and so I'll watch TV a little bit uh, well D DVD I've got uh, bluegrass uh, music that I watch all right you have a good night